Welcome back to Design Recipes, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. Lighting can make or break a room, and some of the key features can be a custom fixture. The name Shakuf is synonymous with luxury lighting. And so today, we're going to explore the possibilities through the custom options of Shakuf. Our journey begins with a road trip, specifically heading to Long Island to see private homes. We're actually in for a rare treat here at this private home designed by architect and interior designer Nikki Khan, who's going to share with us some of her ideas on custom lighting. Hi, Nikki. I'm Kathy. Hi, Kathy. So <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, a fellow designer. I always learn from other designers. And I'm excited to learn about the customization that you did with Shakuf. I know that this is this beautiful fixture that you designed with them. Tell me a little bit about it. So I've known Joseph from Shaku for many years. We've worked together before and after designing this kitchen with this long double island, mm. I had this idea of cutting these floating tubes mm -hmm. above. Um, what made you think of tubes? The tubes was just the shape. I wanted something round mm. to play off all this linearity. Like a, like a cylinder because you have all these really straight long lines here and this by the way is spectacular. I have never seen something quite this special with the double sink. I love how big it is. I love this this feature right here with the with the light. Uh, and so you were saying let's maybe contrast that with something that's more of a cylinder. Something a little bit softer mm. being the cylinder but still having the long linearity mm -hmm. of the tube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so after knowing Shakuf, I knew that whatever I imagined, he could do. So they, so they could do a custom look yes. for you. So yes. you wanted to have the tubes, and so this is what you kind of settled on. What did you decide to do um, clear? Wanted to keep looking around the kitchen, everything is there's a lot white. of color here. There's a lot of color here with this. So and that does change. It does? Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. Changing. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. So you wanted to probably choose something that would not conflict with that. Correct. So tell me how you started to get a custom design with Shaku. Kind of like, how did that process work? So we met, um, and I saw his beautiful... Tamar, which is the wand mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. and I said to him, what if we can make this larger mm. and blow it up and literally turn it on its side. And So it didn't even exist before. I mean, you just kind of took something that they already had and said, let's use this as a base and use this as a springboard to do something even more special and spectacular. Correct. And right. so you, you took that and you said, let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. Uh, let's make it longer. Um, and we came up with this design of these different size lengths, mm -hmm. um, different heights. Mm -hmm. uh, this all had to be drawn out um, and specked out in terms of the wiring beforehand. Which was, you did. Uh, they did quite a bit on that. Their as far as technicians, the their, their engineers own. are incredible. They are incredible. And so tell me a little bit about what you did as a designer and how having that custom ability really kind of changed and transformed this space. Well, we really worked as a team. And that's what I love about them is that um, I like to be able to push an artist mm -hmm. to the next level. Mm -hmm. And they were really open push to that. yourself, too, as a designer. Yes. Um, and they're really open to that and they're willing. And we made it happen. So I want to learn more about what you did here in the kitchen. Okay. And there's another piece that you also have here, if you can tell me about yes. that. And that's over here. So that's over here. And I wanted something kind of very clean, uh, but to still coordinate with the Tamar wand that we customized over the island. Uh, and this is Tamar. I'm familiar with this. It's this absolutely is beautiful. This is the Tamar that we created in a linear chandelier. Mm -hmm. uh, with the same frosted interior and the clear white on the outside, mm -hmm. um, but in a smaller, quieter version. It's interesting that you say that because I often refer to design as quiet design. 
It's something that's beautiful in the space that doesn't necessarily scream at you and blends into the environment. And sometimes it doesn't even look intentional. And sometimes you just look up and you say, wow, that's like a beautiful picture. That's a piece of goodness. And you just know that, that, you, that you had intention as a designer, but it's just something that those people who visit the space embrace. I want to ask you a couple quick questions about this. Um, beginning with the canopy, uh, it, is that brushed? It's Stainless. a brushed aluminum. Yeah. A brushed aluminum. Very, very pretty, very understated, and it doesn't compete with the pendant to me. The chandelier, which is what it really is. And I love how um, many you selected. Was that intentional? It was certainly intentional based on the size of the table, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that because it extends really kind of this statement, this visual statement across the whole table. I really like that. Now, did you do anything else here in the house? We did. We did, did an incredible do? fixture for the powder room. Okay. Now, what made you think to um, add that in a powder room? You know, the reason why I ask is a lot of times powder rooms sometimes are discarded, forgotten about spaces. It's not the master. So for you to put a shakuf fixture into the powder room, I think is really spectacular. When I think you see this powder room, you will see this needed a shaku fixture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's take a look at that. If I can pay you a massive compliment, this is probably one of the coolest powder rooms <laughs> that I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> what did you do here, Nikki? So, this bathroom started with this incredible vanity. Love it. Um, and it really went off from there. The floor was designed as a solid slab quartz. Mm. which kind of has these kind of rock pattern to it. Very interesting. And we wanted the walls to remain really clean and smooth, uh, keeping with the gray color. So we chose this uh, gray pleather. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not leather. It's not leather. It looks like leather though. It looks like leather. It was all uh, hand upholstered. I love what you did here with the walls. And then this aluminum toilet I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little prison-like, but we needed to stay with the stainless steel. That's so funny that you said that. I would have never made that correlation. I just thought it was cool design. So I, I, I really, really like that. And let's Thank talk you. about this, the fixture. This light fixture uh, was another Shaku fixture mm -hmm. that we chose because of the open spaces mm -hmm. that would create this beautiful pattern on the walls um, and create just another whole dimension to the room. Um, we were able to customize the color, the size, the uh, shape of the solid frosted glass mm -hmm. on the bottom and I think it came out just perfect. I tell you what I like about it is I feel almost like I've been transported almost into this natural organic environment. You look and you see all this pattern, you almost don't know what it is. Is it a flower? Is it a part of a cocoon? And it's everywhere. You know, it's, it's everywhere in this powder room, this small little, little, little space that feels really special and um, yeah, I could spend some time here. I do think that the light uh, added to the already surreal feel mm -hmm. that the bathroom had. Well, let's go back to the kitchen. What fun. I really enjoyed seeing that powder room and quite honestly, experiencing every single thing that you did here. It really is special. Thank and you. you strike me as someone who enjoys custom design. You don't want anything off the shelf, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I really try to give my clients something different that they couldn't get anywhere else. So uh, it's a real pleasure being able to work with Shakul because they are really able to take things from my wildest imagination and bring them to reality. Well, thank you. As a fellow designer, I can say well done. Thank you. What incredible designs. This is absolutely spectacular. I have to admit, I learned a lot, but we're not done yet. In fact, we're heading to a second home to see even more examples of Shakuf's customization. Hi. Hi, <laughs> welcome. Joseph, to have you here as the founder of Shakuf really is a treat for me to talk about your custom work here at this home. And this is probably one of the most spectacular chandeliers that I have seen ever. Yes, Kathy, thank you so much for coming. This is really one of my favorite installation of Shakuf pieces, from the customization on the piece, the coloring of the glass, 
the canopy, the size of it, it's fully customized for this space. So I really like you to see in close. This I'd like picture. to see it up close. I mean, this is a grand space and I can get a sense of it, but let's go upstairs. Sure, let's do that. I really love the opportunity to see this fixture up close. I can see a lot of the detailing. Talk a little bit about the customization work that you did here. So this specific fixture it's, was needed to be customized for the size of it, the size of the canopy, the heights of the ceiling, and definitely the coloring of the glass. The coloring is really interesting to me. I'm having a hard time seeing, is it white? Is it cream? Is it amber? Is it a mix? So this Kadoo, it's all one color, it's amber. The inside, it's a white clear drizzle with amber textures outside of the glass. Um, the reason that we did this color, it's to accommodate this space. If you can realize the railing, the glass here, it's mm. like a bronze color mm -hmm. and the space, it's kind of like light and also she has uh, a lot of amber yeah. tones here right. in the residence. How did you achieve that custom color? Was it a tint? So we make the glass, we block the glass with a clear glass and then we take it and we coloring it to make it amber translucent. This is such a unique space and just looking at the size of this chandelier, this does not look like an easy installation. How did you achieve this? So we created a size canopy that we needed to install with wires and basically what we did, we suspend the canopy above the ceiling to be able to hold on and floating the canopy into the ceiling. So this is definitely one of a kind, very unique chandelier that will be in that space. And that's custom too. I mean, that, you don't normally do this. Right, I know, I not normally do it. No, it's definitely customized. Customized for this specific space. How does this particular fixture represent the custom options available at Shikouf? Everything about this is customized. The canopy, the size, the glass, the color of the glass, the heights of the wire, the socket, the socket's color, the temperature of the light bulbs, the amount of watt that we need to have in the glass. Everything about the whole entire fixtures, it's, it's just customized. It's a full custom. So this is Kathy, this is our second custom light installation in this space. I love this particular style, which is cocoon. Right, that's right. And I also love the grand presence of this. I mean, tell me about the size. So this is a wow piece. I will say this is like a five, six feet of one diameter canopy. They need to accommodate this inch, this staircase going up. So definitely we had to create something like it's nice, it's big, it's wow. And that's what we came up with. Tell me a little about the color. This is a custom color too. That's right. So that's part of my favorite piece here. It's really the coloring of this cocoon because we walk with the space, walk again with the glass that have in this space, the railing, the coloring of this one. And like you can say, this is, you can touch it. You can feel it. It's not just standing up above your head and it's lost. You can really get to know, get to feel the texture, the artisan pieces into the glass. But I'm really impressed by this piece. One thing that also impressed me when I walked in the door is that I saw this beautiful chandelier in a dining area. Yeah. And I know that's yours too. Yeah, I can't see it, I'll show you. All right. Video. This one is really special to me because I really love what you did with the clear and the color. These pictures I use two colors. I use the clear and the amber. And also we play with two sizes. There's different sizes in these pictures. I like that and I noticed that. And one of the things I always love about Shaku chandeliers is that you can vary the height too, which is what they did here. Right. Um, this particular space, we make the wire up to four feet and we let the climb to adjust the height so they can easily go to the gripper, push the wire in, release it and push the wire back. So that's what we did in this. I want to understand a little bit more about your process and how you go about creating this beautiful custom chandeliers. Do you create a drawing? Do you come to the site? Do you do 3D modeling? Just what's your process? We need to get as much possible from the client. We need to get a drawing. We need to know what does the space look like. The better we get, the better we can create. And when we get the pictures, when we get a 3D drawing, when we get architectural drawing, we know the room, we know the heights, we know the space, and then we can know with pictures, we know the coloring. Then we begin to make a 3D. We're going to play with the height, we're going to play with the size of the canopy and the quantity of pendant. So you create your own drawing. 
That shit because you create right. your own 3D yeah. drawing. Right, we have someone that's creating a 3D drawing to get a better look for the space. Is it more expensive when you go, let's say, all custom? And I know everything that you do is custom, but when you start changing the color and we start changing the sizes, does it get that much more expensive? No, Shakuf, it's all about custom. We all are fixtures, it's made for people, custom space. So custom, it means that it's unique. It's something that you're not gonna see it somewhere else. It's made for you, and at the same time, it's also, we work with people's budget. So people tell us the amount, how much they have in the living room, how much they're willing to spend on the entryway, and then we work with that and make the best out of this budget to create a custom piece. I have seen so much from your showroom and now learning more about your custom approach. It really is spectacular and I thank you for kind of taking me around and teaching me a little bit. I'm glad you can because there's nothing like seeing it in life. It's totally give a different perspective to our pictures. I agree, you have to see it to really understand it and appreciate it. That's right, thank you. From color, size, and shape, when it comes to custom lighting, the possibilities really are endless. We'll be right back.